Aisha, Dr. Anthony Fauci sharing positive feedback regarding how Connecticut has handled the COVID-19 pandemic, especially considering recently considering the state's low positivity rate. 4.6 million COVID-19 cases nationwide and 154,000 deaths so far. Dr. Anthony Fauci pointing out different parts of the country are in different stages in regards to COVID-19. Connecticut is in a good place. With a rate of positive COVID-19 cases averaging below 1%, Fauci says Connecticut has the upper hand. Because you have such a low rate that when you do get new cases, you have the capability of containment as opposed to mitigation. Despite the favorable numbers, you're not pulling back on your vigilance and making sure you don't have a surge of cases that would put you back rather than stay where you are and going forward. Vigilance such as mass wearing, social distancing and frequent hand washing. But how does this affect returning to the classroom? The primary consideration should always be the safety, the health, and the welfare of the children, as well as the teachers, and the secondary effects for spreading of regard to the parents and other family members. If the infection rate is so low that there's very little chance of there being infection spread, then you should feel okay about doing it, but making sure that you do the things that are necessary to prevent spread. An environment such health measures Dr. Fauci agrees can be difficult to maintain and says could be the site of a possible resurgence. But if infection rates are low, he says schools should reopen. I know sometimes that is physically difficult to do. I know that. My daughter is a school teacher in New Orleans and she tells me, Dad, be careful when you say do these things, they may not be technically as easy to do as you think it is. There is always a risk, but I think if we, as he said, depending upon what level you're in, my approach is always, and, and, I, and I'll say it whether I'm in Connecticut or in any other place, is that the default position should be to try as best as you possibly can to open up the schools for in-person learning. Fauci also sharing an update on national COVID-19 vaccine trials. Both Pfizer, which has a research lab in Groton, and Sanofi, which owns Protein Sciences in Meriden, working on vaccines. Well, the trial that started in July 27th, just a few days ago, last week, it's going to take about three months to enroll individuals in the trial. It's a prime and a boost which means by the time you get enough information to know that it's a safe and effective vaccine, likely will be at the end of the fall, the beginning of the winter, towards the end of this calendar. And Dr. Fauci says if a vaccine is proven to be safe by the end of this year, dosage should be available going into 2021. Live outside the state capitol in Hartford tonight, Sania Maldonado, Fox 61 News. Sania, thank you. The coordinator of the White House's Coronavirus Task Force, Dr. Deborah Burks, is cautioning that the U.S. is